<laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, check out these muscular mother ch Look at that guy, he is ripped beyond belief and he's in a thong. Oh, Yo, thankfully it's not a thong. Yo, Got this guy over here doing push-ups, this guy's doing more pull-ups. This guy's just flexing. Some buy curls. Some sit-ups over here. Why are all of these guys freaking superhuman? This is insane. All right, anyway, welcome back, guys, to another episode of Grand Theft Auto. You know, I thought this town would have more In first person, baby. We're trying to pass time until we can do our next, uh, our next heist. We're kind of waiting for Steve from the FIB to, um, to hit us up and, and let us know it's go time. A couple episodes ago, we made sure all our prep work was set up and stuff and got disguises and getaway vehicles, but we can't quite do it yet, so we are following that ass. No, actually, we're just we're trying to pass time, so we're just gonna be doing some random missions. Yeah, what up, girl? I'm pretty sure I'm free next Thursday. What's going on, brother? You free for me? No way to treat a lady. Oh hell no! Come on, move! I'm knocking your bitch ass over. Trying to trip her and stuff. Girl, sit down with your. I don't know, having you ass. Damn, well, you're Fucking a nobody. Jerk. <laughs> bum fights you know what's crazy is I've actually seen a live bum fight on uh, on this Venice boardwalk it was on like a grassy hill like this and I have a circle of palm trees and these two but I forget what they were fighting over but they literally started fighting and cops like ran in and had to break it up and stuff it was funny but anyway as I was saying we're trying to pass time until the next uh, the next, what's it called? The next heist. So today we are going to be taking on Franklin. I mean, not not Franklin's, but Lester's first assassination mission for Franklin, which I'm pretty excited about. I was planning on saving these things till the very end, so we can invest all the money and make sure we we get maximum returns. But it's honestly not that important. It's not like not like we're going to be playing this game for a super long time. Like when we beat it, we're done. So, it's not like we need a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? As usual. Really? I knew it. Don't bump into me. Same girl with the damn rose tattoo on her boob. It's the most unattractive thing I've ever seen. All right, Lester. Thank you for not having a tattoo on your boob. You look good, girl. Even though you, you're a little bit older. Duno's Beach Cafe. What's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward with two strangers <laughs> having a friendly chat and don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I saw worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information and even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' ears off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA, and he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond, 
course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man. All right. Fuck it. I got you. I thought that you would. Now, consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone. Beta Pharmaceuticals, alright, so we gotta invest in Beta. Where's our web browser? Money and services. Where is Beta Pharmaceuticals? Bilkington was gonna be the one that goes down, right? You can't sell short though. You can only buy, so let's, it's probably in the Balzac. Beta Pharmaceuticals. Go ahead and buy. As much as we possibly can. Go ahead and confirm that. Oh, we can't switch the other guys right now, unfortunately. So it looks like only Franklin's gonna be getting rich. It's all right. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. Okay, what whip do we want? We'll take this one. Here we go, boys. Let's go take him out. So terrifying. The male menopause is real. You're going to lose your virility someday. How about now? In the time it has taken to listen to this commercial, you are less virile than you were at the start. You've just wasted a whole lot of sperm. The decline has begun. It is time to fight back. As you start to go gray, get saggy, you're being upstaged by young bucks who will seduce your women and take your fortune. Is this a commercial for the guy we're about to kill? I thought this was going to be a, uh, it's an adventure travel service commercial. I thought it was going to be about a pill. What weapons do we currently have? Guards have arrived to pick up the target from the hotel. He's expected to leave very soon. Plan the attack quickly and find a location with a good vantage point of the hotel. We already have a sniper. Right th here, I think we'll have a better view. Be funny if we were to put sticky. Oh, we don't even have sticky bombs. If we were to just put it on the truck and blown up the whole truck. Let's move it out, people. We need this area clear. Dude, if we would have got a sticky bomb and just went in and freaking... Oh, that would have been so funny. Which way is he going to come out of? Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some one. Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. We got a shooter! Take cover! I got a visual! 
Give him a shot to the upper chest and then a shot to the leg to make sure he was done. Get out of here, boys. Woo! That fast action, quick thinking, baby. Oh, gosh. Behind huh? the movie studio lot? Not the goddamn car. Shit. The movie studio people saw us. No. All right. All right, we're good now. Yeah, the security guards of the movie studio saw us. That's that's unfortunate, but we got away, baby. He made a good chunk of change doing it. Whoa. Nice. And the question is, when do we sell? Check the Bozak. It's a plus two right now. It's done. I know. Good work. All right. Well, she. Let me know about the next thing. Will do. Uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets, you know, property. So we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man. Whatever. You know best. Of nice. All right. So we got a house up in the Vinewood Hills now, baby. Sounds good to me. And it looks like we got a, a Strangers and Freaks mission right up here, so we'll just stick with Franklin and see what's up with that. Oh, is this the... Uh-oh. Hey, Mike. Hey, I spoke to Steve. We're ready to move. I gotta take the loot to this guy me and Trevor met, Devin Weston. Big time investor or something. Oh, all right. See you. Well, I'll see you at the lot. Hell yeah, all right. Well, we're that's the Photog dude. He's a lot of fun. We're definitely gonna have to do him. But in the meantime, our heist is now ready, which I'm, uh, I'm pretty excited about. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. We're gonna go do our heist and have a good time. See you guys there.